Ooh, Cancer, I got some presents for you this week. We're gonna get into the astrology, Cancer. This is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary <laughs> for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Please do take all this energy where it resonates in your life. It's your reading. I'm going to describe the energies to you. Apply it to where it applies in your life. You might want to check out your moon sign reading. Always. Cancerians, you should always be checking out your moon sign reading. Always. Every week. Um, as well as your rising sign video. Because sometimes you relate more to those. But Cancerians, seriously. If you're not listening to your moon sign reading every week. Please start. Please. Um, because in a lot of ways, Cancerians end up embodying where their moon is even more than their sun so it's really important um there's always an extended reading and i hope that you guys will join me for that i'll attach the link down below in the description box i'll pin it to the top of the comment section and you could also just click right on it toward the end i'm going to pin it to the top of the the video so it's really easy to get to um and I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation that I hope that you will join me for daily. Monday through Friday, I do a live reading there. So you can join in the live chat if you are subscribed. Please, please do come over. I would love to have you participate. And if you are looking for any other information, please click any of the description boxes below any of the videos. It's all there, including personal readings. Yes, I do do personal readings, but I only book through my website. So please do go find all that information there and a lot of other goodies as well. Okay. Oh, Cancer. I just think that it's time to move. It's time to start something different. And I think that you've been able to feel it for a while, that you just are ready for something new and it's got to happen and you've got to take action. So this is a time when you will throw caution to the wind because you want the change. The moon is heavily influenced by Uranus this week. It's also heavily influenced by Mars. Action and change are two things that are going to be major themes for us this week. Let's go through it. Okay, so we have Saturday. The moon is going to be conjunct Uranus, which could create oppositional behavior, odd behavior, being, being extra curious, interested in unique things, or desiring change. This is when your frustration will really come out where you just want something different and you can be very oppositional at this time. Now, a little bit later, by Monday, the moon is going to conjunct Mars. At that point, this is hot-headedness. This is anger. This could, this could be just emotions coming out um, energy energy explosions and it could come out as anger it could come out as frustration it could just be high energy and basically i can't take it anymore i've got to take action now kind of energy cancer ones so these are cancerians who are born at the very beginning these would be june cancerians right your natal sun the moon is going to be by I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday, the moon is going to be conjunct your natal sun. Hold on, we've got this, it's Wednesday. This is when the moon has gone into Cancer. At this time, when and the moon is at the beginning of Cancer, and it is conjunct the natal sun for Cancer ones, it is going to form a grand trine in the sky with Venus in Pisces and the south node in Scorpio. For you guys in particular, this is a very romantic time. This is when love comes back into your life. People are comfortable around you, attractive to you. You could make this energy work for a lot of different things because there will be a nat natural, empathetic, compassionate, open people will be drawn to you a lot of people could open up to you and start just spilling out their shit to you as if you'd understand that usually happens to cancer moons especially anyway but um ultimately it is a very kind of attractive time and an extra romantic time so use the energy the way that you choose but that's the energy that's going down um and for all Cancerians, I would have to say, since this is happening in the sign of Cancer and it, around Wednesday, 
beginning beginning when the moon just enters cancer this is going to be a romantic day this is going to be an extra ooey gooey intuitive day but also sort of like i said familiar people will feel familiar with you there's a there's it's almost like i put down love returning into your life not necessarily an a person coming back into your life but being able to love again like feeling like your heart just came back online type of energy all of that could happen very romantic day okay toward the end of the week so this is next friday the moon is still going to be in cancer but it's going to be conjunct the sun of cancer threes so those are people who are born right on the cusp of leo season but they're not leos they're cancers that moon is conjunct your natal sun is going to be opposite mercury and opposite pluto and that can be a very kind of self-destructive not thinking or just basically not feeling right in your own skin time especially related to things that are said or information that is shared or comes in fyi it's going to especially impact cancer threes but since it is the moon in cancer it could impact everybody but especially those people who are born toward the end of cancer so those are the pressure points for us this week but that beautiful Wednesday is really making me happy because there is that break of now I know what I love. Now I know what I, I want. A sense of hope coming back online. And at this point, at that point, I think you just won't be able to tolerate or take anything that is less. Let's get into the cards. We've already got one laying on the table and that is the Six of Wands. And that's why I said, because I was looking at the card, Fucking tell me, oh, she doesn't get to the card until... Stop. You ain't working with a novice here, okay? I've been looking at this card since I since it, since it fell in front of me. This is, I'm, I, I want something new. This is, I'm ready. This is a new passion. Passion returning back into your life. Being inspired, feeling inspired, but it's you. It's taking action. It's want, it's actions. So especially when there's a conjunction to Mars, I think, what did I say? I think that was around, um, where's the Mars? Monday hot-headed but you're also going to have that passion to say yeah give it to me i'm give it to me i'm taking this chance there's more the death card scorpio now the moon on wednesday is going to be trying to the south node in scorpio once again taking action on something that you thought was dead taking action on something that is like now i've reinvigorated and i'm not going to stop this time because i've changed and things are different or you're dealing with a Scorpio. And then we have, uh-oh, something coming back from the past. Could be a relationship, somebody that you knew, a friend from the past, somebody from your hometown. Could be a Scorpio. That's getting real specific for a general reading. You should definitely still apply this where it, it is in your life. But this is a sense of old feelings coming back. Does that mean I'm telling you to get back to your ex? No, and don't any of y'all lay that shit on me because I rarely ever tell anybody to get back with their ex. For me, an ex is an ex for a reason. But this is something from the past that has been been reanimated. It has, it has taken on a new life. So once again, that could also mean I haven't meeting somebody brand new, but you haven't felt that way about anybody since the time you were very young. Or there is something like somebody has changed. Somebody that you barely knew, now all of a sudden it's like a whole different potential for a whole new relationship. Interesting, right? We have the high priestess here. So intuition, you saw this coming. You knew this was coming. You could feel the vibrations. You could also be dreaming a lot. Leave the comments below. I'd love to know your dreams. I do dream interpretations too, y'all. Okay, page of swords. Intuitively, there's intuitive messages that you're picking up on. That's what it's saying. It's like it even, it might even be coming from a person as 
as, as much as it is coming from the universe itself, just picking up on those messages and being able to relay them. This could be psychic energy. This isn't just something you're making up in your head. This is messages coming in. You're picking up on them. You're receiving them, but you would be able to validate them later on. Um, okay, communications. Hold on, hold on. We have the Ace of Wands still, right? I'm looking at it. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups usually has to do with your maternal energy. If you get, I'll tell you this right now. If you get an inkling to call somebody, pick up that fucking phone because they need you. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like you will know that somebody needs to hear from you or you will just get that feeling and call them. You have to call them, okay? Um... This, to me, this energy really just means trust Trust your instincts. You're right. Like, hold on for dear life because you're absolutely right. This is going to be verified in reality. This all does also have to do with maybe money or financial issues or struggles, but a sense of just wanting to stay firm and feel like, okay, I got this. Like, like every, like, like just feel solid. So you, you don't wanna make too many moves when it comes to finances next week. It's a very tumultuous week, so it probably, would, probably wouldn't be a good thing for it. Um, I wonder if there's, I, I'm not gonna say it out loud. I'm not gonna say it out loud because I don't think that's for everybody, but God, tell me what you think. What do you want me to say? This is for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, cancer. Cancer energy. Yeah, this is something that you've been hanging on. This is this is money. Money that's been held up from you. Maybe that you have been waiting on. Or you don't know why things have stagnated or got stuck. Okay, so what is it with this hanged demand? What the hell are we supposed to do with this energy? Um, it could also be commitment like making a commitment that's not gonna to come to fruition for a couple of months. There's, there's a lack of information here, and that's really frustrating. I could feel the frustration coming off because it's almost like, no, I, I need to know what's going on, but there's like mismatched information. The information isn't coming in clearly. You can't make a move, but at the same time, money is frustrating you, so you are dealing something with this here. This could be why I wanna take action. I wanna do something. It could be what is, pissing you off to push you forward let's put it that way let's just pull a moon card because saturday right after this week ends because this week is goes from friday to friday right right after this week ends we have a full moon a full moon in leo so there's definitely going to be something that is popping off then lots of emotions running high we have your commitment is being tested first quarter moon that's it there is this sense of are you going to give up how badly do you want this or for those who are picking up romantic vibes from this reading your commitment your actual relationship you're going to go through a lot of ups and downs and trials this week okay so how committed are you or is this going to be what kills it that doesn't necessarily mean anything's your fault or even their fault it could just be you know, something's got to die. Something's got to end to make room for some other things. This is really a transitional time when you, you, changes are going to be quite natural and welcome by you. Okay, let me get some details. I need details, God. I need details, please. This is something that you have been creating on. Okay, so, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, God. Very very specific this year right here that you were waiting on and you weren't getting any information on it's it's something that you have been working your ass off on and really disappointed on like heartbreak when it comes to something that you thought you were going to manifest into reality but at least you haven't been somebody's kept you waiting somebody's kept you holding on the line and honestly it's either breaking your heart that it's stopped up and you can't seem to move forward or you're going to get bad news that, that what you waited for isn't going to happen okay yeah no no no. this is clarifying it it's more just stagnation it's more no matter what i tried no matter what i did i couldn't make things move forward 
and it's not going to move forward. What's going to come out of that stuck position is disappointment. So you waited this whole freaking time for nothing. And if that doesn't frustrate you, I don't know what will. But definitely, I feel like that in and of itself is going to be a motivating factor to not ever make that sh same mistake again. The uh, Hierophant is here. So you could be dealing with a boss, an industry, something traditional, a traditional system, a traditional structure. I don't know what you're, what, what you're interacting with. Not necessarily law, but something traditional. And you know what? It, it falls through. It falls through. But why? Why? Or if you were thinking about getting married, hold on. Hold on. There's something that marriage is here. We have two marriage cards. We have the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Why? And this is the Death card and Five of Cups. If you thought you were going to get married, you're not going to. I'll tell you that right now. Because, honestly, I feel like somebody's decided that I don't even know why I'm thinking of this, this stuff. It's, 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 like, it's like it's come back up again and it just gets more disappointing each time. You know, or it's remembering the pain from the past. And it's the pain from the past that's going to keep this from moving forward. Or some kind of hidden shit or crap that comes up it's from the past a disappointment from the past that is killing this opportunity that you thought oh i'm ready to sign the papers or i'm ready to commit no it's pain from the past that comes up that is killing this opportunity at least this week at least this week i don't mean to give you bad news but i gotta deliver it i gotta deliver it because because there was such stagnate and the bottom line is stop Stop trying to fucking force something that isn't supposed to be just because it's comfortable. Seven of Pentacles, it hasn't been working. Get rid of it. Don't know what else, what else to tell you. This is when you get the official. This is when it comes down to, or this is something that you knew, you knew an ending was coming. And you just tried to hold on to something long enough because you didn't want to let go of it. You needed the safety net. This is when you have to let go of something. Why? And that's what it is. It's like at first I'm like, oh, oh, maybe they're getting married or maybe something's coming through. But no, this shit from the past got in the way. It's like this old hurt, this old suffering or these secrets, these lies, maybe breaking the law, like seedy shit comes up and it's like, I, I can't move forward. It's getting in the way of moving forward. But the good news is that now you know what's getting in the way. And if you confront it and you look it in the eye, it could be that you still have a shot if it matters to you. And this is how your commitment is being tested. What is the Hierophant here for? Why is the Hierophant here with the Four of Wands? We have King of Wands. There's some sort of sexual tension, sexual energy, um, drive to move forward, something that you were creating, something that you were doing. This could be Leo, Aries. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, a masculine fire sign. It's almost like maybe something that you've always wanted to try and never had the ability to is getting in the way of you being able to push forward and continue to make the commitment. It's like, it's not even necessarily, I don't want this. It's that I just need to be able to do this or try this. I don't know what that means. Judgment. It's a good choice. It's a good decision. And then the Ace of Pentacles comes through. So a judgment will be made in your favor. Ultimately, the golden ring or the golden ticket will be offered to you. But there's something that you have to do first. And that's, that's what I don't understand. It's almost like, what is it that cancer has to do? What, what is it that cancer has to take action on? What is it that cancers have to take action on? What is it that cancers have to take action on? The sun card. Leo, the full moon, no, what your heart is telling you, you have to follow your heart, that's what it's saying, 
You have to make your heart, let your heart make the decision for you. And by heart, I don't mean your emotions, your feelings, or your codependency to fucking, I need to be with them, I feel it. No, your heart, your heart is the megaphone of God speaking through you. Your heart is the speaker system for your soul. What is your soul saying? What is your divine purpose saying? That is going to be really clear. And as much as it scares the shit out of you, that is going to be crystal clear, screaming in your ear, and you are not going to be able to ignore it. And you shouldn't because it's driving you in the direction that you need to go, even if you need to leave something else behind. Let's see if that's going to be necessary. I'm going to go into the extended, guys. Please come on over. I'll see you there.